Hello everyone. In this video, you will see how to make Visual Studio Code automatically compile your TypeScript files into JavaScript. This way, you will be able to run or debug your TypeScript files by pressing just a single key. So let's start with a fresh project in VS Code and create a simple Hello World program. As you see, I have just added a tiny bit of TypeScript specific code here to make VS Code complain about it. With its factory settings, VS Code doesn't know what to do with a TypeScript file. So if we choose to run this file, VS Code proposes to use Node.js, which does not understand TypeScript syntax. Now, what I could do is compile this file manually by invoking the TypeScript compiler in the terminal and then execute the resulting JavaScript file. But that's rather tedious and something that the IDE should do for us. What I really want is that whenever I create a new TypeScript file or edit an existing one, I can execute it with just a single key. And here is how we can make VS Code do that. As a first step, we have to create a TypeScript configuration file by invoking tsc init on the command line. In the resulting config file, we activate the source map setting so that VS Code can match the TypeScript source with the JavaScript source during debugging sessions. Next, we configure a build task that will compile the TypeScript code in the background. Here, VS Code gives us these two TypeScript compiler options because it has detected a TypeScript config file in the project. We choose TSC Watch to make the compiler watch for changes in our files. In the resulting build task file, we also have to add the following to make sure that the compiler continues watching even when we restart VS Code. In addition, we have to give the permission that this build task may run automatically. To do so, we type Ctrl Shift P and choose Manage Automatic Tasks in Folder and allow it in the next step. This results in an additional file in the VS Code folder right here. With this, we are finished, so let's give it a try by restarting VS Code. As you see, the existing file can be run without any problems. Now, if we change it and run it again, the output correctly reflects those changes. And finally, we should also be able to create and run a new file inside this project. All right, so this works as well. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like. See you next time and happy coding.